What's going on, Rob Three Strong here. I'm gonna continue the anatomy lesson and talk about the thigh. There's a lot of stuff going on around the hip joint, around the knee joint. I'm gonna keep it as simple as possible and really talk about the major muscles that um, cause your uh, knee to extend. And when I'm talking about extension, if I was to sit down and have my knee bent and then I straighten my leg, that's extension. I'm extending my leg out and that's it. So all these muscles tighten up to pull that leg straight and then they relax, tighten up to pull that leg straight. At the most basic level. But if I'm sitting down and extending my leg, obviously leg extensions are what forces the muscles to work, but that's also when I'm squatting down and picking something up, when I'm jumping, when I'm lunging. Anytime my leg goes from the bent position to the straight position, these muscles are going to work. It doesn't really matter. You can target them and just focus on the knee extension, but that's not going to develop them to the greatest extent. Well, let's talk about the landmarks before I really get too far into the exercises. Yes, there's a lot going on here, which I'll cover in future videos, but let's just focus on the quads. Why is it called the quads? Because there are four major muscles. We have the vastus medialis. We have the rectus femoris, which is in the middle, and then over here on the outside, this really long muscle is the vastus lateralis. That's only three. The fourth one lies underneath the rectus femoris, and that's called the vastus intermedius. So medialis, intermedius, lateralis, with the rectus femoris sitting on the top. The interesting thing is all these muscles attach into the pelvis, which means it crosses the hip joint. At the, at the bottom end, at the, at the distal end, this, all these quad muscles come down to one fascia. This connected to, actually it's a tendon. So the fascia connects to the tendon, and it stretches over the kneecap. So this muscle crosses the knee joint and it crosses the hip joint. So it serves two different purposes. To, uh, uh, to some extent, it pull the knee up, so flex the hip, and then extend the knee. So that's why if you are sitting down and your legs are extended out in front of you, your quad is actually in its shortened state. And then if you get your knee back underneath you, pulling back into a quad stretch, your quad is at its longest point. It's at its biggest stretch. Well, each of these little muscles are obviously working when we're doing that knee extension, but they slur serve slightly different purposes. They are all going to work, whether we're doing a squat, a lunge, things like that, but the difference in range of motion and the speed of the movement will let you know which muscle is really going to kick in and uh, work even harder than, than, than the other ones. Two muscles in particular, so the vastus uh, intermedius and the rectus femoris in the middle, those are, those are always going to work. They're always working and so are the other ones. This little teardrop shaped muscle, the vastus medialis on the inside, if you want that little teardrop there, the nice little bulge in the inside, this muscle is really designed at the furthest end of the range of motion. So if you're going down into a deep squat, and I'm talking about past 90 degrees of knee flexion, that muscle really helps to get the leg going with the extension. That's why if you look at um, Olympic weightlifters, any one of the power lifters, those guys, they have a pretty good uh, size vastus medialis. That's because they're getting very deep in, into their squat under relatively heavy load. Of course, their technique is locked in. We don't want to mess with that. That and on the opposite end, it, it helps to lock the knee out and straighten that knee. Soccer players, since they're doing so much kicking and extending, that little teardrop is also developed. On the opposite end, the vastus lateralis, on the outside, these are actually the high-powered muscles. If you look at sprinters, jumpers, 
football players. Look at football running backs. These guys have phenomenal thighs. Uh, to really develop the outside that kind of quad sweep is what they call it, is those high powered speed movements. So you're jumping, you're sprinting, you're Olympic weightlifting, any uh, uh, kettlebell swings, anything done quickly is going to work that muscle really hard. All right? So these are your major quad muscles. I'm actually gonna talk about stretching and show you some stretches in a little bit more detail as I continue the conversation about the quads. See you tomorrow.